Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Every so often we're going to do a video called a hobby short. These videos are all going to be under 5 minutes long and cover one small aspect of a bigger project. Today we're doing Harlequin masks. People often ask me how I do the masks on my Harlequins. And it's not too difficult, but there are a few little tricks involved. The model we're using today is primed black, but white or gray will work and it'll probably result in you doing less coats. First thing we're going to do is lay down a base coat of Celestra Gray. This covers black pretty decently, but to keep it smooth, I do about three thin coats. Next up, we're going to go ahead and wash the mask. For me, I'm using Druji Violet. Another color people commonly use is Dragonoff Nightshade, so either a purple or blue wash. But I feel like with the right color scheme, a red or a green could actually look really cool. Go ahead and lay this on undiluted, and if it's pooling too much in some areas, just go ahead and sop it up with your brush. After giving your wash time to dry, we're going to go back in with Celestra Grey and we're going to hit all the areas where the wash didn't settle. Now you're going to notice my Celestra Grey is pretty thin. The reason I do this is so I can create a nice gradient between the washed areas and the raised areas. If the paint is too thick, you're going to have this stark line between the wash and the raised areas. So doing this will take more layers, but in the end we're going to have a better gradient. With that step done, you can see the areas where I left the shade. Those thin layers are going to allow you to blend this line between the shade and the gray seamlessly. The camera isn't always the best at picking up these bright whites, so here's a diagram for the next step. Feel free to go back to this while you're painting and highlight these areas. Just like the diagram showed, we're going to focus on the more raised portions of the mask. For this, we're going to use Vallejo Ghost Gray. Now we're going to want to keep this thin like we did with the Celestial Gray. Because remember, you can always add more paint, but you can't take it back. And having a nice thin paint will allow us to make a nice smooth gradient. With the ghost gray down, features of the mask are going to really start to pop out. Again, here's a diagram for our very last step. We're going to hit the absolute highest parts of the mask with a pure white. Just about any pure white will work for this step, but I'm using Vallejo's Dead White. Go ahead and put it on thin again and hit those highest spots. And that's it guys, Harlequin masks in under 5 minutes. With some practice, you can pump these things out pretty quickly with great results. If this video helped you in any way, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. We're going to have a lot more stuff coming and I can't wait to share it with you guys. As always, thank you for your time and take care.